What's going on everybody? I'm happy to be here at Computex 2018 thanks to Qualcomm and what we're looking at here is this oops almost dropped it right here the Snapdragon 850 newly announced and it is the processor that will be powering what might be the next wave of mobile computing. All right, so I have an example right here. This is what is called an always connected PC. You can see that it's incredibly thin. And one of the reasons why it's very thin, very sleek, very light, is because you're taking the same type of chip, the Snapdragon platform that you find in smartphones like this G7 I have in my hand, and you're creating a laptop around it. Now, in this particular case, uh, Qualcomm has announced the Snapdragon 850, which is the latest version of the mobile computing platform. Always connected PCs are a thing. They have been for a little while now, thanks to the guys over at Qualcomm. But with the Snapdragon 850, you're seeing even further an evolution of the mobile computing platform. And we can only see things go even better from here. Speaking of the connection to smartphones, make no mistake, while there are Snapdragon processors that work on smartphones and you see them all over the place, the Snapdragon 850 is made specifically for laptop computing. That's why it is called the mobile compute platform. And also, uh, all of the laptops that we were taking a look at, including the Nova Go that was in my hand, uh, is running the Snapdragon 835 mobile compute platform, while the 850 is currently in reference devices, but you'll be able to see it mostly in 2019. So the whole idea is that you're taking the greatest benefits of a smartphone, the small form factor, the fact that it doesn't necessarily need a fan to run at high peak uh, performance, and you're able to put it into a much larger form factor where you can put a large battery and all of the other bits and pieces that creates the laptop experience. There are a few demos behind me and there are actually a lot of great examples as to what the Snapdragon 850 is able to bring to the laptop platform. Uh, for example, the fact that the laptops are always connected. Now, we have Gigabit LTE as sort of our future of high-speed internet, but uh, that is going to be something that's coming a little bit more down the line. One demo back here shows that the speeds, actually with this very ASUS Nova Go, uh, the speeds on this laptop were way more than any of the conventional uh, connections that we have currently. Now, always connected, LTE means that these laptops are always going to be on the internet. So even if this laptop is closed or the screen is off, it's still going to get all of the notifications, all of the connectivity that you need. And the example that they showed was that uh, Skype was able to create a call and make the laptop actually activate to tell you that you were getting the call. As opposed to a competitor, a more conventional laptop, that when you close the lid or turn off the screen, you also lose the connectivity like with pretty much any computer we use today. And that is also made possible by an eSIM that is uh, one of the announcements that was made this morning. Using an eSIM, you're able to get onto any of the carriers uh, and a bunch of them are jumping aboard so that you can get LTE connectivity at all times without even really needing to install a physical SIM card. You just open up the computer, put in your phone number, it gets connected to the carrier and you're good to go. There are no fans in here. That's one of the reasons why this is such a thin laptop. And there are a lot of examples uh, from a lot of different manufacturers of the always connected PC platform uh, being this sleek, this nimble, and it still doesn't run all that hot. Another demo shows that the thermal performance uh, shows that the Snapdragon 850 is about 10 degrees Celsius lower than a more conventional competitor, which is awesome. You're not gonna be burning your, let's say thighs off when you have this on your lap and you're trying to get Get a lot of word processing done or uh, when it comes to battery life you could also do 25 hours of continuous video playback which is awesome imagine being on a flight and you're watching let's say netflix or downloaded content on a laptop like this and even if the flight is let's say 16 hours long from los angeles to taipei you're still going to have battery life left over once you arrive and you can also expect that your experiences on an always connected PC are going to be similar to ones that you have with conventional PCs because Microsoft and in particular Windows 10 is part of all of this goodness. Now, Windows 10 has updated to not only allow for the Snapdragon 850 to run at peak performance on its operating system, but there is also an SDK allowing developers to develop their applications uh, made specifically for the Snapdragon platform. While all applications for the most part work really well on laptops like this, out of the box, you're going to get even better experiences when those developers are able to create their applications specifically for the ACPC. All right, so that should pretty much do it. As you can see, the room behind me is pretty cleared out because we have spent a lot of time just learning more about the Snapdragon 850 and in particular, learning about always connected PCs. I'm just having a lot of fun just holding this one because it's super light. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. I have a lot of content coming from Computex, not only with Qualcomm, but with everything going on here in Taipei. So make sure you stay tuned. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell over on the side so that you can uh, keep up with all the videos that I'm making. Uh, drop some likes and yeah, I'm uh, working on a lot of tech 
tech videos here on my channel. So thank you so much for watching and for sticking around. Uh, that should pretty much do it. And uh, especially since we're in Taipei right now, I want to remind everybody, remember, enjoy your tea, everybody.